so we're working on some more uh, uh, key hone and application for our key hone. Uh, we're going to be working on the high block technique. Now, we, last, uh, last time, we worked the lapel grab as one possible application for this. Again, you don't want uh, to be grabbed, but sometimes it happens. They grab for the purposes of swinging and hitting you, you know, punching you here. So we worked this idea, so as they come in with that punch, you can block, and then you're going to hit here, and then strike into the face, right, or the throat. Okay, so this idea opens them up, bang, right, and then we were talking about how you can switch up and do other things. So that's one application, using it against a lapel grab. The other application that it could be for um, is a wrist release, a high wrist release. Now, why would your you know, wrist ever be grabbed up here? Well, if you're, you're, we talked about how if you attack the drawing, often they'll you know, grab your wrist to keep you from doing that, and so we work the low block for that. Well, if you're fighting in, in, in close, if you go, for example, to choke them, that's an, a, an appropriate self-defense move, a choke. They're going to want to get your hand off, so they'll probably grab and pull the hand off. Or, or if I'm here and I go up for an eye gouge, all right, they're going to na naturally, they're probably not going to let you gouge the eye. So if they can get their hand up quick enough, they'll probably grab that wrist to pull your hand off, right? Uh, it could be also, if I'm in here and I'm shoving the head back and maybe trying to work for a takedown, he's probably going to want to get that hand off his face. So that, multiple reasons why your hand might be grabbed high. So what we're going to work here is I'll just have the hand up here, so grab. So uh, we're going to work again that idea, you're always going against the weak part of uh, the grab. In this case, it's the thumb. Right? So we're going to use here go, okay. we're going to use the wind up and hiccate motion of the high block as a release. Right? So you're going to bring this hand up, this hand will sneak up underneath, and I'm creating a barrier here so I can use the hiccate to pull. Right? So go ahead and you know, grab that wrist. He's got it hard. I, I need to get my hand free. So I'm going to shoot this hand up in the high block uh, motion as I hiccate here. In some cases, I can just hiccate, go ahead and grab it, grab it hard, right? I can hiccate and it's probably going to sneak, uh, slip out. But what I'm going to use is this to create a barrier to uh, stop his hand and pull it out. Also, now I've got opportunity to control this hand, you know, hit the elbow, do takedowns and so on, all right? So again, this is just an application for that high block motion. So we're going to drill it, reaching up for just like grab the cheek and the ear, the, your, uh, this attacker guy will grab your hand, and I just want you to do the high block, pull that hand down, and strike to the head. Okay?